In the next few minutes, I will take you to a new country, climb a new mountain, drink a new beer, and live a day as an active tourist. I did it all in a day trip to Liechtenstein. Stick around, and I'll show you how you can have this adventure too. In fact, in 24 hours, I flew across the world, landed in a new continent, and made this adventure happen. In the middle of the Alps, nestled between Switzerland and Austria, is a piece of land 25 kilometers long, the sixth smallest country in the world, Liechtenstein. Before I continue, learn how to greet one another in this German-speaking country. So say "Hoi" and be greeted with a smile. Liechtenstein is two hours from Zurich, with frequent transportation connections. By public transport, you can easily take the train in Switzerland to Sagans, then take the Liechtenstein bus network to the capital, Vaduz. I'll share the cost, weather, and some resources at the end of the video. At Zurich main station, I found lockers to drop off my bags. With 30 minutes before my planned train, I had to walk outside the station for a peek of Zurich. There are multiple trains from Zurich to Sagans, and it takes around one hour. I recommend taking the 807 train. Grab breakfast and enjoy the train ride. Once you arrive at Sagans, head out to the bus stop and hop on to the half-hourly buses operated by Lee Mobile. 914 was the perfect bus for me. 30 minutes later, I arrive in Vaduz Post, in the middle of the capital of Liechtenstein. The next planned bus is 90 minutes from now, so there's time for some exploration and get a quick snack before the trails. One major landmark for Liechtenstein is the Vaduz Castle. It's a quick walk from the town center. It takes around 20 minutes one way. For the remaining time, you can walk around town and fill up for the mountains. The bus for the hike departs at 11.14 and runs every two hours. Leave for the hike no later than 1.14 so you aren't rushed for the hike. Take bus 21 to Triesenberg to connect with bus 22 that will be waiting for you to head up to the trailhead at Gafle. The total time from Vaduz to Gafle takes 30 minutes. The bus drops you off at a parking lot, which is the trailhead. Water is available. I made separate videos for the hikes. Remember to check them out after this video for more information. Furstensteig is the classic trail or the best trail for Liechtenstein in my mind. It's 2.4 kilometers one way, which continues on to the Dreist Western Trail. Alternatively, you can do a 6 kilometer loop and return to Gafle. The Dwey's Western Trail is the one I had the most fun. There were some scary spots, but I was rewarded with spectacular views and unique experience. Here are some pictures from the journey. See my video for more coverage about this 4.5 km journey. The full hike from Gafle to Planken should take around 4 hours. At the end of the trails, you arrive in Planken, a small town that has buses to take you 5 kilometers downhill. Buses run hourly and takes you down to Shan in 10 minutes. From Shan, multiple buses take you back to Vaduz in 5 minutes. I took the 442 bus and got back to the Vaduz area at 5 pm. Back in Vaduz, you can see some sights in the area. Great job as an active tourist, you've done plenty of exercise today. 
grab a meal and a local beer. When you are ready, just reverse what you did this morning. Take bus 11 or 12E back to Sagans and leave by train. You can leave as late as 9.30 to arrive by midnight in Zurich. Now let's talk about money. Liechtenstein uses Swiss francs and is comparable to expenses in Switzerland. For the transportation, a last minute booking full fare on the Swiss train is around 33 francs round trip from Zurich to Sagans. A Liechtenstein bus day pass is 12 francs. The whole journey, including the Liechtenstein bus network, is included in the Swiss Rail Pass. The best time to make this trip is from May to September. The temperature is very comfortable, and the late sunsets after 8pm help, so you don't need to worry about running out of daylight during the hike. I did this trip in mid-August, and I didn't even need to take my jacket out. Make sure you check the weather forecast, avoid rain and snow as there are some treacherous sections. Even with good weather, wear sturdy trail shoes with good grip for the trail. So this is how an active traveller spends one day exploring a new country. Are there other places in Liechtenstein you would add on? I'll be happy to see your comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a like so I can create more guides like this around the world. Remember to watch the videos of my hike to see what the trails are like. Check out my video description for more information that can help you plan this trip. So go to Liechtenstein. Worth it for a day trip when you are in the area.